Gayton McKenzie, the head of the Patriotic Alliance, PA, has boldly said that there is no chance for the Yumkanto we Sizwi, MK, Party Zuma faction. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. A recent news conference, Mackenzie stressed the need for fresh leadership and direction in South African politics while expressing his disenchantment with the group headed by former President Jacob Zuma. Mackenzie's comments are made in the middle of current coalition talks and political unrest in South Africa. The Zuma faction of the MK party has proven time and again that it cannot provide the leadership and vision needed to move our country forward, Mackenzie said. Any genuine possibility for constructive change is being stalled and progress is being hampered by their internal conflicts and antiquated rules. The Zuma faction has been a divisive force in South African politics because of its unwavering allegiance to the outgoing president and its power inside the MK party. Opponents contend that the group is out of touch with the difficulties facing the nation now because of its emphasis on internal power battles and nostalgia for bygone triumphs. Mackenzie urged a change in emphasis toward political parties and figures that are dedicated to tackling the urgent socioeconomic problems that South Africa is now experiencing. We need leaders who are forward-thinking, who understand the needs of our people, and who are committed to creating jobs, reducing crime, and improving education and health care, he said. Reactions from all points of view have been provoked by the remarks made by the head of the Patriotic Alliance. Mackenzie's supporters praised his candor, while the Zuma group and its backers denounced his remarks as unproductive and divisive. Commenting on the dispute, political analyst Zoland Lovu said, Gayton Mackenzie's comments reveal a deeper dissatisfaction with the current state of affairs in South African politics. There's a growing belief that fresh leadership is required to successfully address the nation's problems. Mackenzie stuck to his guns and urged South Africans to think outside of the box when it came to political solutions, even in the face of criticism. A new direction is needed, he said in closing. Factions that do not have our country's best interests at heart cannot afford to hold us back. Mackenzie's audacious move draws attention to the continuing discussion over the future course of South Africa's leadership and the need of revolutionary change as the country's political climate continues to alter. Once more, concerns about the possible consequences of former President Jacob Zuma's reported drive for vengeance are growing as South Africa negotiates a challenging political environment. A well-known political pundit has raised the alarm, warning that Zuma's personal grudges may jeopardize the stability and advancement of the country. Regarding Zuma's plans after leaving the president, rumors have been flying since a few months ago. There are increasing concerns that Zuma would put settling scores ahead of maintaining the interests of the nation as a whole due to the continuing legal disputes and corruption accusations that surround him. The political expert, who requested anonymity, said that Zuma's quest for vengeance represents a serious danger to South Africa's democratic institutions and socio-economic advancement. Zuma runs the danger of weakening the rule of law and reducing public confidence in the government by putting personal grudges ahead of national objectives. Concern was raised by the analysts due to Zuma's track record of political scheming and his propensity to question accepted wisdom and establishments. Zuma is still a powerful force in South African politics, able to upset the existing quo because to his devoted fan base and skill at using political coalitions. As Zuma becomes more and more involved in legal disputes and comes under growing pressure from several sources, the threat of retaliation looms big. His recent disobedience of court orders and unwillingness to appear in court for investigations have further contributed to the conjecture around his goals and motivations. Many watchers see Zuma's actions as a component of a larger power struggle both in the political sphere and inside the governing party. The African National Congress, ANC, is facing internal dissension and growing public discontent, and Zuma's influence is significant in determining the party's future direction. The expert issued a warning, arguing that Zuma's quest for vengeance may deepen already seated ANC divisions and further divide the nation along political lines. Further, Zuma's actions may hinder attempts to solve the most urgent problems facing the nation by drawing attention away from important concerns like unemployment, poverty, and inequality. Calls for unity and statesmanship have been stronger as South Africa prepares for possible consequences stemming from.